Snakes are creatures that haunt many of us in our nightmares. Although most snakes are relatively harmless and would much rather leave you alone, some snakes obviously have the potential to be deadly. There are around 5.4 million snake bites per year, which result in around 80 to 140,000 deaths per year. The largest snakes in the world are often the most famous snakes, but these snakes are rarely the most dangerous. Although people are sometimes killed by large snakes such as anacondas and pythons, the most dangerous snakes are the highly venomous snakes. In today's video, I will be trying to go through some of the deadliest snakes in the world, but it is quite hard to categorize these snakes. There's not really a scale for deadliness, and it is hard to calculate fatalities per year. There is often many factors behind how many people a species of snake kills, such as the aggressiveness of the snake, the potency of its venom, and where on earth this snake is found. For example, many species of sea snake have highly toxic venom, but are very unlikely to bite you, and venomous snakes found in poorer parts of the world are more likely to kill people, because there's less medical facilities and anti-venom in these areas. I tried to choose snakes from all over the globe, and for our first species we'll be heading to the southeastern United States, as we have the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Now this snake is a species of venomous pit viper, and is one of the heaviest venomous snakes in the Americas. They reach maximum length of around 2.4 meters, but these are of course very chunky snakes. They of course got their name from the patterning along their body, and this patterning helps them blend in with their environment. Famously, just like other rattlesnakes, when these snakes are threatened they shake their rattle, which is made up of a series of hard segments made out of keratin. Wow. Here, get, the, get the camera. In the wild, they mostly feed on small mammals and birds, but of course they're capable of taking down much larger animals. Luckily, because these snakes are found in North America, fatal bites from these snakes are quite rare, because anti-venom can normally be administered in time. Despite this, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is the deadliest snake in the USA, and there is often a few fatalities each year. But that puts this snake firmly at number 8 on this list. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to southern Australia, as we have the tiger snake. And this snake is very large and highly venomous, and reaches a maximum size of around 2 meters. In the past there were thought to be two species of tiger snakes, the eastern tiger snake and the black tiger snake. However, in recent years the morphological differences between these two species have come into question, and they are believed to be the same species, but just two different morphs. In the wild they can be found in a wide range of habitats across southern Australia, but love areas with an abundance of fresh water. Surprisingly they do very well in semi-urban areas, which is one of the reasons why they're so dangerous. In the wild they'll feed on pretty much anything smaller than them, and they're even known to be cannibals. Surprisingly, some of their only predators are other snakes, and also predatory birds such as butcher birds, goshawks, and kookaburras. Although these snakes are generally shy, if cornered they will defend themselves aggressively, and if you are bitten it's bad news. The last recorded tiger snake fatality was back in 2020, when a 78 year old male was bitten 5 times. Australia is home to many species of venomous snake, and this means luckily there is a lot of anti-venom to go around, and if you're bitten you can usually be treated effectively, so this interesting snake comes in at number 7. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to Eastern Africa, as we have the Black Mamba. Now the Black Mamba is one of the more famous snakes on this list, and is the second longest venomous snake after the King Cobra. Some of the largest specimens reach sizes of up to 4.5 meters, which is around the same height as a female giraffe. Not only are they very long, but they are also very fast, and are thought to be the fastest moving snakes in the world. They can travel up to 12 miles per hour, which is impressive for an animal with no legs. Some of you may have noticed that this snake is not black, and is more of a dull brown color. This is because this snake is named after the colour of its mouth, which of course is a very dark black colour. Now some people view the black mamba as the deadliest snake in the world, but most of the time it's only deadly because of where it's found. It famously has a fatality rate of around 100%, but that's because the majority of attacks go untreated. The residents of Eswatini are the worst affected, and the people here have essentially no access to anti-venom. This often means that a bite results in certain death, and a number 6 place on this list. But for our next species, we'll be heading back over to Australia, and more specifically Eastern Australia, as we have the Eastern Brown Snake. Now at first glance this snake may seem very unspectacular, but it is extremely deadly. Like many other snakes, its favourite food is small mammals, and this means that surprisingly it's one of the few creatures that have benefited from human expansion. More arable farms usually means more rodents, and these snakes are more than happy to take care of them. You'd think that the farmers would be happy to have them around, but these snakes are also seen as dangerous pests themselves. One of the things that makes this snake so deadly 
widely is the fact that they're so abundant. One of their other common names is the common brown snake, and this snake is another species that does very well in urban environments, as well as being highly venomous themselves. They also have an immunity to some other snake venoms, such as the mulga snake, which would otherwise be a predator of the eastern brown snake. I have the eastern brown snake down as the most dangerous snake in Australia, and this may be a controversial statement for some people. That's because the inland taipan can also be found in Australia, and this is one of the most, if not the most, venomous snake in the world, with a highly toxic venom. But the inland taipan is normally found in very remote areas, and bites on humans are very rare. The eastern brown snake, on the other hand, is responsible for around 60% of human snake bite deaths in Australia, and is accountable for at least 20 deaths since the year 2000. And that puts it very fairly at number 5 on this list. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to India, as we have Russell's Viper. Now, India is one of the worst affected areas when it comes to snake bite deaths, and there is normally four main offenders. These snakes are known as the Big Four, and include Russell's Viper, the Common Crate, the Indian Cobra, and one other species that's yet to be mentioned on this list. This snake was named after a Scottish herpetologist, who worked in India for a number of years. This snake is not only found in India, but can also be found in neighbouring countries, and some nations of South East Asia. The venom in one bite from this snake is more than enough to kill you, and these snakes are very aggressive when cornered. 40 milligrams of its venom is enough to kill you, but in one bite it can administer up to 300 milligrams of venom. In some parts of its range, anti-venom is very hard to come across, and this has meant that Russell's Viper is one of the deadliest snakes in the world. It's thought to be responsible for around 20,000 deaths a year in India alone, and not only is it one of the big four snakes in India, but it is also number four on this list. But for our next species, we'll be making our final trip over to Africa, as we have the Puff Adder. Now this snake is not the largest of snakes, reaching an average size of around a metre, but once again, it is quite a chunky species. Although their movement is not unique among snakes, they do have a strange way of getting around. Instead of weaving side to side, they can often be seen moving while their body is straight, and this makes them almost look like a large slug. Despite this, it can also move in the conventional snake-like motion, but this is usually only when it needs a burst of speed. When a puff adder feels threatened, it gives a warning to the potential attacker by inflating its body and hissing loudly. This is how they have got their name, and again just like the rattlesnakes, this warning makes them slightly less deadly, because you're more likely to notice them, and then leave them alone. Now the puff adder's venom is not as potent as the black mambas, but it is responsible for more bites in Africa, and more fatalities. The mortality rate is only around 15%, but if left untreated can get as high as 52%, so even though they're not as famous as the black mamba, they are more deadly, and are number 3 on this list. But for our next species, we'll be heading to Central and South America, as we have the Ferdelands. Now the Ferdelands is a species of pit viper, and is very adaptable and can be found in a wide range of habitats. They can often be found in areas of rainforest, and usually feed on many of the creatures that can be found both in the treetops and on the rainforest floor. But as well as being found in wild areas, this is another species that does well in semi-urban areas, and although it can be useful for controlling rodent numbers, they are obviously also very dangerous. Like with many of the other snakes on this list, the main reason why they're so deadly is their aggression. They're more likely to bite than most other snakes, and their venom is particularly nasty. Bites from the Ferdelance result in a fatality rate of around 9%, which at first doesn't seem that bad. But bites from this snake can result in necrosis, and may also cause gangrene. This means that often limbs have to be amputated after a Ferdelance bite, and many people die from sepsis. So even if a bite from this snake doesn't kill you, it can ruin your life. And as well as this, it is the deadliest snake in South America, and is a close number 2 on this list. But for our last species, we'll be heading back over to India, as we have the Indian Saw Scaled Viper. Now this was the mysterious fourth member of the big four snakes in India, and although it's on this big four list, it is not a very big snake. They are usually no larger than 60 centimeters long, but this small snake can pack a punch. This snake mostly only feeds on small creatures, such as lizards, frogs, and even insects. For this kind of prey, your venom doesn't need to be very toxic, but surprisingly this snake's venom is. The lethal dose of venom from this snake is around 5 milligrams, but they can inject a maximum of 72 milligrams in one bite. Once again, Again, the reasoning behind this snake's inclusion on this list is not only down to its venom, but is also down to its behaviour. It is one of the most aggressive snakes in the world, and is very quick to bite when threatened. Although it's called the Indian Saw Scaled Viper, it is found in many other countries across Asia, and although it only kills around 5,000 people annually in India, it's thought that up to 50,000 people are killed by this snake globally each year. That puts it firmly at number one on this list, as many experts see it as the most deadly snake in the world. Because of snake 
makes potential danger. Many people view them as evil creatures and even treat them badly. This is completely unnecessary because they play an important role in their ecosystem and in most cases they just want you to leave them alone. If you think I've missed any snakes out on this list then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye. Thank you